Calculating molar mass. To calculate molar mass, you have to either write a chemical formula from its name or be given the chemical formula directly. Here you are given the chemical formula directly. First thing you will do is you will discover the types of atoms in the chemical formula. For instance, we have calcium and sulfur atoms. So first list the atoms present, calcium and sulfur. Then you're going to list the quantity of each atom present in the chemical formula. So it's very important that you have written a correct chemical formula to be successful. So here we have one calcium and one sulfur, as there is no numbers after them, so we assume there to be one. Then you're going to look up their number on the periodic table. So here is a, our periodic table that we have in class, and you can see that calcium, you're going to use this number right down here, the 40.08, and then the 3207 for sulfur. So you'll use what we call the average atomic mass. That's how we learned it originally. Now it is called either, I refer to it either the periodic table number, but properly said it's the molar mass. So we have one calcium, one sulfur. We're going to look up the periodic table number, AK molar mass, and multiply how many we have of each atom times its number off the periodic table. For instance, remember we saw 4008 for calcium and 3207, so you're going to take 1 times this and 1 times 3207 and get um, those numbers. Then you're going to sum your results, like here. And then this is your molar mass, 72.15 grams per mole. The unit will be grams per mole. Uh, on most of the stuff you will submit in school, G will not be putting the unit. And for this skill, we're going to just be consistently rounding to two places past the decimal. So go to your second place past the decimal on your calculators, look to the number afterwards, and round accordingly. The second place past the decimal based on the third place past the decimal. Another example. Here we have barium phosphide. So we're going to list the atoms, barium and phosphorus, pardon me. We're going to list how many we have of each, three bariums, two phosphorus. We're going to multiply each of them by their numbers off the periodic table, and then we're going to total those values. Example 3. Here we have TA parentheses OH parentheses 5. So we're going to list the number, the types of atoms we have, apologize. TA, O, and H. We're going to list how many of each. Remember that this parentheses here means that the 5 will go through everything sort of backwards, distribute if you would, through that, that's how I got five oxygens and five hydrogens. So we list the number of atoms of each after we've listed the types of atoms. We look up their numbers off the periodic table, often referred, referred to me as the periodic table number. So those are their numbers. We multiply across, and then we're going to sum that value. Okay. okay, just like the other examples, you are going to list the elements that you have. So we have T, C, C, H, and O. You're going to count how many you have, 2, 28, 28, 42. Remember, the 7 gets multiplied through. You're going to look up their numbers off the periodic table. So I get these numbers. Multiply for a subtotal. So multiply number you have times the molar mass, the periodic table number, um, and then get a grand subtotal. Um, and this is how you do that one. Reach out if you have any questions. Thank you.